I have now, I am now an engineer. I'm a brilliant engineer, and I have developed a brand new robot that actually takes a syringe and injects it into people, and fills the syringe and then injects it. And I believe, I want to test my new robot. I believe that it's going to be better than humans, meaning it's going to have a smaller standard deviation in the amount that is actually injected than humans do. I want to test this new robot. I want to test its standard deviation. I want to show that it will decrease the standard deviation of the injection amounts by 10%. Standard deviation is a little different than the other two, than proportion and mean, in that when we start to talk about a difference, we don't really look at a subtraction, we really look at a division. So we're going to think about the percent change rather than a specific number. So I want to test my robot that is going to reduce or the standard deviation of injection amounts by at least 10%. Or let me say it another way, because the other way is the way I'm going to need to put it into Minitab. In other words, my robot will show a standard deviation that is 90% or less than that of humans, right? Because if it reduces it by 10%, then it's 90%, 100 minus 10. All right. I'm going to work for this study at a 95% confidence, and I want to have a power of 80%. So I want an 80% chance of detecting the difference, assuming that my robot really does have a standard deviation that's 90% or less that of humans. The question is, how big should my sample size be? How many times do I need to have my robot inject, 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 inject over and over again? before I can determine this with the power that I want. So we're going to do a power analysis on a standard deviation. So let's go up to Minitab, Stat, Power and Sample Size. And when we're talking about a standard deviation, we are really looking at a variance. So I'm going to do this on one variance. Now, Minitab is going to require that I enter different things. I could either enter a ratio of standard deviations, how I want the two standard deviations to compare, or I could enter a ratio of variances, how I want the two variances to compare. But in this case, I, to I talked about this entire problem in terms of standard deviation. Let me just leave it like that. I don't want to fill in sample size, because that's what I'm looking for. The ratio I'm looking for is I want it to be 90%. So I'm going to write that as 0 0.9. I need to put it as a decimal. And my power value is going to be 80%, 0 0.8. Let me click my options real quick. Because I do need to worry about these two things. Now, I'm working at 95% confidence, so a significance level of 0 0.05 is great. But I did say that I could be working, I could find a standard deviation that is 90% or less than that of humans. I actually even want a less than. Let's do that and say OK. And say OK. And Minitab does the calculations for me. I'll move this graph over so you can also see the calculations. But the answer is right here on the graph. I would need a sample size of 287. That's actually not bad, because this is just a robot doing an injection. To make the robot do the injection 287 times isn't going to cost me that much money, or even probably take me that much time. So I will be able to accomplish this study.